It's the year 2025. Our rural areas and small towns are thriving with agri-parks, providing communities with jobs, food security and opportunities to prosper. Agri-parks are one of the cornerstones of rural economic transformation that started in 2015 when the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform launched the Agri-Parks program nationwide. South Africa is a rich land with good soil and a nation of people willing to work it. But in 2015, the nation still suffered the effects of its apartheid past. Laws such as the Natives Land Act of 1913 had left the rural landscape of the country fragmented and without sustainable economic opportunities. The Agri-Parks program was a bold initiative that sought to break down this exclusion and bring rural communities to the forefront of participation and ownership in the agricultural economy of the country. Through government's land redistribution program, individuals and communities who were dispossessed of their land under apartheid were able to share in the agricultural value chain in a sustainable, profitable way. Small-scale and emerging farmers were given access to a network of support to empower them to better participate in the agricultural value chain. The AgriPark network begins with farm production and support units, or FPSUs. Seeds, irrigation, tractors, mechanical implements, as well as training, were provided to emerging farmers. The FPSU does primary collection, provides some storage, some processing for the local market, and extension services including mechanization. FPSUs provided emerging farmers with support at the coalface using universities, agricultural graduates and NARISEC and working in a symbiotic relationship to hold hands with farmers over the last 10 years. The FPSUs were connected to agri-hubs. The program provided assistance to emerging farmers in 44 agricultural hubs, located in 44 districts around the country. Each of the hubs in turn connected to each other through transport and logistics networks designed to carry goods across the country. While government provided the infrastructure and support, agri-hubs were owned by local farmers who had to own a minimum of 70%. The hubs provided farmers with extensive training, including input into how to diversify their crops, soil testing facilities and access to important market information that had previously only been accessible to large-scale commercial farmers. The agri-hubs became commercial and logistics centers, connecting farmers to markets at home and around the world. This was done through rural urban market centers, which tracked market trends and offered farmers key market insights, including local and international pricing. They had bigger facilities, packaging and processing plants, warehouses and storage facilities, and exposed our rural communities to local and international markets. Special care was taken to guarantee they had access to expert market knowledge to ensure their crops were innovative, viable, in demand and sustainable. That's our good story. Ten years in the making and today we can proudly say that through the AgriParks program, the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform is delivering vibrant, equitable and sustainable rural communities.